Thank you, Lord. Let us bless the name of the Lord this morning for drawing us to prayer and to power. Our loving Father, our sovereign Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your gentle hand upon our lives. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you for your insistent voice that calms our fear. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your peace with all but overwhelm us, Lord. Thank you, Father, for the gift of life. Lord God Almighty, we thank you, not just ordinary life, but life made new in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, our Lord and our God. Thank you for drawing us, for intervening in our affairs all the way, Lord. Thank you for your divine plan for our life. Thank you for this day. Our Lord and our Father, we thank you. Oh, Father, Lord, we bless your name this morning. Help us, O oh Lord, to draw draw closer to you and revive our faith lord revive our faith oh lord touch our hearts with the fire of your presence in the mighty name of jesus christ oh lord our father teach us that you are great god above all gods oh lord in the mighty name of jesus let us pray this morning pray for yourself that my father teach me the power of prayer in the name of jesus christ oh lord my father teach me the power of prayer teach me the blessings of prayer in the name of jesus it is sweet hour of prayer Lord, teach me the potentials of prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, help us to be open to everything you will say in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that, Lord, loving Father, help us to be open to everything you will say this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Save us from becoming too fixed in our ways and our opinions in the name of Jesus jesus christ father we pray this morning help us oh lord save us from becoming too fixed in our ways and in our opinions in the mighty name of jesus christ let us pray that father save us from limiting your word or denying your call in the name of jesus christ oh father lord save us from limiting your word and deny your call in the name of jesus christ let us pray that holy ghost fire born to ashes every plantation of darkness in my soul this morning holy ghost fire born to ashes every plantation of darkness in my soul in the name of jesus christ and let us pray that my father your word say 
When men asleep, the enemy came to sow weed in the place of wheat. So pray that, Lord, in the hour of my sleeping, whatever the enemy has sown that is not of God, let it be uprooted in my life. Let it be uprooted in my children's life. Anything that the enemy has planted into my life through dreams in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be uprooted. Anything the enemy has planted in my children's life through dreams, let it be uprooted. Let it be uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. For those of us who have small children, you can hear that child cry out from their sleep this morning pray that any evil power that has visited my children or my son my daughter during the hour of their sleep this morning whatever they have done in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I nullify it I nullify it in the name of Jesus Christ you know as a child of God, we are seated with Christ Jesus in the heavenly places and Christ is at the right hand of God the Father this morning and we are seated with him this morning. I take my place in the heavenlies and I deprogram whatever the enemy has programmed into the sun, into the moon, into the star concerning my life, concerning my children's life. I deprogram them in the name of Jesus Christ. I deprogram them in the name of Jesus Christ. I deprogram them in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this morning. I receive a new touch from heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ, I receive a new touch from heaven. Oh, my Father, light a new flame in my heart, oh Lord. Light a new flame in my heart. In the name of Jesus Christ, help us to use this time given to us profitably in the name of Jesus Christ. Every hour, every minute, oh Lord, it matters. Help us, oh Lord, to use it profitably as we begin our day today, Father. Help us so Lord, to use our time profitably in the name of Jesus Christ. Draw us closer to you through understanding more of your nature. Lord God Almighty, draw us closer, Lord, through understanding or more of your nature than our own in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray, make us understand more fully why you put us here in, here on earth. Why you allow us to be alive, Lord? Make us to understand fully in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, make us to understand fully what you have us to do in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, mighty Father, make us, oh, Lord, to understand fully what you have us do in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, mighty Father, help us, oh, Lord, make us to understand fully where you want us to live, where you want us to go. Oh, Father, Lord, all that our full step today, Lord God Almighty, because your word said that the step of the righteous are ordered by the Lord, and through the blood of Jesus Christ, we have been made righteous. So, Father Lord, order our footsteps today. Order roads, oh God, where you want us to be, where you want us to go. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray that this day, Lord, for my children, order their footsteps. Order their footsteps. Lead them, O oh Lord, into the path of righteousness. Do not lead them to the pit of death of destruction. O oh Lord, my Father, lead us into the path of righteousness for your name's sake. Do not lead us into the pit of death or destruction in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, our Lord and our God, because this is the day that you have made in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, I take authority over this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Take authority over this day, for this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us take authority over this day and say, I bind any power that will attempt to spoil this day for me. I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ, because this is the day that the Lord has made. I bind any power power that will attempt to spoil this day for me i bind you in the name of jesus christ you my enemies of the day i bind you with fetters of fire in the name of jesus christ you my enemies of the day i bind you with fetters of fire in the name of jesus christ because this is the day that the lord has made i reject the spirit of tragedy today I reject the spirit of trage tragedy today in the name of Jesus Christ. You have nothing to do with me. I have nothing to do with you in the name of Jesus Christ. I reject you in the name of Jesus Christ. I take divine insurance against any form of accident and tragedy in the name of Jesus Christ. Because this is the day that the Lord has made and I take divine insurance against any form of accident and tragedy in the name of Jesus Christ over my 
life, over my children, over my loved ones. I take divine insurance by the power in the shed blood of Jesus Christ. I take divine insurance against any form of accident and tragedy in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that you, my day, reject every progress diverter in the name of Jesus Christ. You, my day, reject every progress diverter in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree that this day we mark the beginning of good days in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. For this is the day that the Lord has made and I decree, I agree with the word of God that this day we mark the beginning of good days in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree death upon backwardness in this day in the name of Jesus Christ. I am moving forward. I am going forward in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree death upon backwardness in the name of Jesus Christ. Decree this morning that the sun will not smite me by day, nor the moon by night, according to the word of the Lord. The sun will not smite me by day, nor the moon by night in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray. That you my day. You my day. Mention the day. That you my day. Reject every form of disappointment. Reject every form of failure. Reject every form of manipulation. And every form of frustration. I reject you. Today, today, today. You are not my portion. You are not in, in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the life of my children. In the life of my loved ones. You today. I reject every form of disappointment. I reject every form of failures. I reject every form of manipulation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as the Lord this morning that's Lord take over Lord Jesus take over my day Take over my day, Lord Jesus, and I decree the absence of the devil and all his agents in my life today. I decree the absence. They are not welcome. I reject their presence in the name of Jesus Christ. I ban them because the word of God says, whatsoever you accept, if you do not want to use the word banned, whatsoever you accept here, it will be accepted in heaven. Whatsoever you reject, it will be rejected. And no, today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I decree the absence of the devil and all the sages in my life, in my children's life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I reject it. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I will make it this day. Whether the devil likes it or not, I will make it. My children will make it. Because this is the day that the Lord has made. The, my children, you will make it today. Declare over that children, over that child of yours, that you, my son, you, my daughter, you will make it today. Whether the devil likes it or not, in the name of Jesus Christ. Because this is day of my breakthrough. And no power can stop it henceforth. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and I will be glad in it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, blessed Father. I soak this day in the blood of Jesus Christ. I redeem this day with the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be to your name. Thank you, Lord, for daily you load us with benefits. Thank you for the benefits of today. I receive it. I receive it. And I enjoy it. And I'm happy. In it, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah be to your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. We continue. Before we continue our prayer, let's go to the word of God. And this morning, I want us to pay close attention to see the outstanding privileges that we have in Christ Jesus. This is my go-to chapter in Romans. Because sometimes, you know, before when I will read it, I will not understand it. But when I get to chapter 8, oh, everything got clear. Even if I didn't understand what I was talking about. But when I get there to chapter 8, yes, I say yes, I know this one. So let's listen. And take your highlighter and highlight the word that will come to you. Discover your privilege that you have as child of God from this verse, from this chapter this morning. So let's read. 
Romans 8. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. For what the law was powerless to do because it was weakened by the flesh, God did by sending His own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh to be a sin offering. And so He condemned sin in the flesh in order that the righteous requirement of the law might be fully met in us who do not live according to the flesh but according to the Spirit. Those who live according to the flesh have their minds set on what the flesh desires. But those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their minds set on what the Spirit desires. The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the Spirit is life and peace. The mind governed by the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law, nor can it do so. Those who are in the realm of the flesh cannot please God. You, however, are not in the realm of the flesh, but are in the realm of the Spirit, if indeed the Spirit of God lives in you. And if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, they do not belong to Christ. But if Christ is in you, then even though your body is subject to death because of sin, the Spirit gives life because of righteousness. And if the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of His Spirit who lives in you. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we have an obligation, but it is not to the flesh to live according to it. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the misdeeds of the body, you will live. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. The Spirit you received does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the Spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship. And by Him we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit Himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Now, if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ, if indeed we share in His sufferings in order that we may also share in His glory. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us, for the creation waits in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. For the creation was subjected to frustration, not by its own choice, but by the will of the one who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be liberated from its bondage to decay and brought into the freedom and glory of the children of God. We know that the whole creation has been groaning, as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. Not only so, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the Spirit groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for our adoption to sonship, the redemption of our bodies. For in this hope we were saved. But hope that is seen is no hope at all. Who hopes for what they already have? But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness we do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And He who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. For those God foreknew, He also predestined, to be conformed to the image of His Son, that He might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those He predestined, He also called. Those He called, He also justified. Those He justified, He also glorified. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare His own Son, but gave Him up for us all, 
how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus who died, more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble, or hardship, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, neither angels, nor demons, neither the present, nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Roman. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm telling you, if you don't read any part of Romans, please imagine yourself in Romans chapter 8. There are a lot of privileges in this chapter that you will discover, that will comfort your soul. At one time in your life, you will need it. Especially verse 1. There is now, therefore, no condemnation. The devil will want to bring condemnation because that is his job, accuser of the brethren. He will accuse you. He will accuse you so that you will not move forward. He will accuse you. The sins that you've confessed, that you the past, he will bring it back to you. Say, you know you've done this, so you cannot do that. You know you've done that. It's accuser. And when you know that, you just have to call to him that there is no condemnation. You cannot condemn me for those who are in Christ Jesus. There is no condemnation, my brothers and my sisters. There are a lot of privileges that we have. We have freedom in the spirit. We are safe and secure. And if God is for us, who can be? Who can be against us? Please go back and read Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. Paul uses the adoption or sonship to illustrate the believer's new relationship with God. In those days, the Roman culture, the adopted person lost all rights in his old family and gained all the rights of legitimate child in his new family. He became a full heir to his new father's estate. Likewise, when a person becomes a Christian, he or she gained all the privileges and responsibilities of a child in God's family. One of these outstanding privileges is being led by the Spirit. Being led by the Spirit. We must not always feel as though we belong to God. But the Holy Spirit is our witness. His inward presence reminds us of who we are and encourages us with God's love. And I love that verse 15. Uh, no. We are no longer cringing and fearful slave. Instead, we are the master's children. That was the privilege. What a privilege. Because we are God's children, we share in great treasure as co here. Co ears. God has already given us his best gift, his son, his Holy Spirit, forgiveness, and eternal life. And he encourages us to ask him for whatever we need. Yeah. What else do we want, my brothers and my sister? It's because of our lack of knowledge. We are being destroyed. Read your Bible, please. 
read your Bible and allow, because you have the Spirit of God, allow the Spirit of God to interpret it. You know, sometimes when we go to the Bible to read, we bring the other interpretation, the other illustration, the other things that other people have said, instead of allowing the Holy Spirit to really open our mind and speak to us. We need to stop that. When you go to the Word of God, blank out those things that you've known before. Come afresh, because the Word of God is new afresh. We are no longer in bondage. We have been free, set free. We are not cringing and fearful slave. Another thing we must know. That's the price, being identified with Christ. Along being here of God, Paul mentioned the suffering that Christians must face. What kinds of suffering are we to endure? The first century Christian, the believers there, there were economic and social persecution. And some even face death. We too must pay a price for following Jesus. In many parts of today's world, we are hearing it. We are seeing it. Some of us have experienced it. Even in countries where Christianity is tolerated or encouraged. They face persecution. Christian must not become complacent. We must do everything to live as Jesus did. That is serving others. Giving up one's own rights. Resisting pressures to conform to the world. Nothing we suffer, however, can compare to the great price that Jesus paid to save us. We must know that. In your place of work, because you are a Christian, they will mistreat you. They may not like you. That's part of the price. But don't forget, it is natural for children to trust their parents. Even though parents sometimes fail to keep their promises, our Heavenly Father, however, never make promises he won't keep. Do not let us forget that. However, his plan may take more time than we expect. What are we waiting for? What are you asking the Lord for? Whatever it is, whether new bodies, a new heaven and a new heart, rest and reward our eternal family and our home. All the absence of sin and suffering and being face to face with Jesus. Rather than acting like impatient children as we wait for God's will to unfold, we should place our confidence in God's goodness and wisdom. Knowing that nothing can separate us from the love of God, no matter what you are going through. Let that be settled in our mind. If God be for us, who can be against us? Who can be against us? No one. No one can be against us. No one can be against us. So this morning, let us praise the Lord. For this romance, I'm encouraging us. Go back at your spare time, even when you are going to... To, 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 to break, short break, 15 minutes break you have, you're going to use the restroom, open your Bible in your app, read Romans 8, see what the goodness that is there for you. And if it's only one verse there, hold on to it. If it's just that verse word, there is now therefore no condemnation, no condemnation. When the devil come up with his lies and say, no, you know you've done this so, so, so here. You know you've done this so, so, so here. As long as you have confessed that sin, Christ has forgiven you. There is no now no condemnation. 
So let us thank the Lord this morning. Father Lord, our Heavenly Father, there is now no condemnation in Christ Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your grace. We shall set us free from the cause of the law and the power of sin in our life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for sending Jesus Christ, whose death procure our freedom from the power of sin and death. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. Pray this morning that, Lord, I pray that I may walk in spirit and in truth as I submit to the Holy Spirit so that my own sin nature is kept in place of death. Pray that, Father, Lord, I pray that I may walk in spirit and in truth as I submit to the Holy Spirit so that my old sin nature is kept in the place of death. Help me, Lord, to walk in spirit and truth and not to revert back to the law and engage in fleshy carnality, knowing that I have been set free and I'm unable to stand fast in that liberty as I submit to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Father, I pray, help us this morning. Help us, Lord, to walk in spirit and in truth and not to revert back to the law or engage in fleshy carnality, knowing that we have been set free. We are free indeed. And enable us to stand fast in that liberty, Lord, as we submit to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Help us. Pray that, Lord, help me to keep the eyes of my heart fixed on Jesus Christ. Oh, mighty Father, help me to keep the eyes of my heart fix on the Lord Jesus Christ. Help me to develop a spiritual mindset that honors you. Oh, mighty Father, this day, Lord, we pray, help us, help us, oh Lord, to keep our eyes the eyes of our heart fixed on Jesus Christ. Help us to develop a spiritual mindset that honors you and you alone, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father. Thank you. Thank you that the spirit of him who raised the Lord Jesus Christ from the dead is living in me. Ah, aren't you? Isn't it that wonderful, my dear brothers and sisters? He said, but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you. He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwells in you. Praise him this morning. That's my father. I thank you. How I praise and thank you that the spirit of him who raised the Lord Jesus Christ from the dead is living in me. Because he lives, I too will receive his immortal life. May I never lose the wonder of this truth and become complacent or lukewarm about my great salvation. <laughs> Hallelujah. Father God, this morning, help us, Father God, that we will not become complacent or lukewarm about our great salvation. Open the eyes of those who have been blinded by the God of this age. Let us pray for them this morning. Pray that, Lord, open the eyes of those who have been blinded by the God of this age and convict men and women of their need of a Savior. Convict them. Convict them. In my place of work, in my own household, Lord, in my neighborhood, Lord, use me in whatever way you choose. Use me, Lord, in whatever way you choose, Lord. Help me to be willing to submit to your Holy Spirit and to be led by you always, maturing in the faith to your praise and glory. Pray this morning that my Father, because your word says, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God, they are the children of God. So, Father Lord, help me to be willing to submit to your Holy Spirit and to be led by you always, maturing in the faith to your praise and to your glory, Lord. Help. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that you are my Abba. I am your child. Oh, thank you, Lord, that I'm your Abba, I'm your child. Thank you that I have your indwelling spirit of love. 
I have your peace. I have your joy and hope in my heart. Praise the Lord this morning. Thank him for what you have, what he has given to you. Father, you are a faithful and gracious God. Thank you. Abba, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Abba, Father. There are another version say, Father, Father. Hmm? Just imagine a little child seeing the Father coming. Father, Father. How they run to the Father, Father. That is how we should be. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You are my Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be to your name. For we have not received the spirit of bondage again, but we have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for setting us free. Thank you for your wonderful words of wisdom in the scripture. May we become so firmly grounded in the truth of your word. Pray this morning that, Lord, may I become so firmly grounded in the truth of your word and the glory that is revealed so that I can place the sovereign of this present time in their correct perspective. Oh, Father God, thank you for your wonderful words of wisdom in the scripture. May I become so firmly grounded in the truth of your word and the glory that is revealed that I can place the sovereigns of this present time in their correct perspective. Hmm. Because the word say, for I reckon that the sovereigns of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So, Father, help me. Help me, Lord. And we cry out, Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. For the honest expectation of the creation waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Oh, Maranatha, come, 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 Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your indwelling of your Holy Spirit. Who knows my heart better than I know myself? Thank the Lord this morning. Thank you that he is interceding for me right now. You know, the word of God said, those are the privileges that we have. He said, likewise, the Spirit also helped our infirmities. We did not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself make intercession for us and with groaning which cannot be uttered. Oh, Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that he, the Holy Spirit is interceding for me right now with groanings which, I can, which cannot be uttered. Ask the Lord this morning that my Father take the inner yearnings of my heart and beautify them. Oh Lord, my Father, take the inner yearnings of my heart and beautify them, I pray, so that I may live my life in a way that glorifies you. Pray, my brothers and my sisters. You know what you are growing. Sometimes we cannot even express ourselves by ourselves. You know that thing deep down inside you. Pray that, Lord, take the inner yearnings of my heart and beautify them. I pray so that I may live my life in the way that glorifies you, Lord. Take it, Lord. Use it. I am willingly submitting to the work of the Holy Spirit in me. And I pray that you will search every aspect of my life and rid me of every trait that does not reflect the beauty of Jesus. Pray this morning that, Lord, mighty Father, I am willing, willingly submit to the work of the Holy Spirit in me. And I pray that you will search every aspect of my life and rid me of every trait that does not reflect the beauty of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you that you for ordained this amazing transformation of my ugly character into his glorious likeness. Ah, hallelujah. 
thank you, Lord, because your word say, for whom he did for no, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Blessed be to your name. Hallelujah be to your name, O Lord. Thank you, Lord. This morning, the word of God say that in all these things we are more than conqueror to him that loves us. Let us leave all that before the Lord this morning. Some are weighed down with wanting or the other, some form of addiction. Let us pray for them this morning. That Father Lord. We come to you to pray for all who are weighed down with some form of addiction. Lord, you are the one who came to set the captive free and to release the sinners from the chains that binds them. So we lift before your throne of grace all those that have become addicted to drugs. This morning, we can see them. Some in our family, some in our neighborhood, some in our place of work. Father Lord, we know some personally and others that we do know nothing about. But you know everyone that is enchained by the curse of drug addiction. We are asking you, Father, that you will look with compassion on all that are ensnared by any form of addiction. And send help and freedom to all who will accept help. Lord, we pray that they may be released from this imprisonment and return to a life that has dignity and meaning. Oh, Father, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Give wisdom to their family members and those that care for them, that they may be given the support and help to put them back on the road to recovery. Heavenly Father, we pray. Endow them with patience, with understanding and perseverance, knowing that this can take time to address. Oh, Father, there are other things, Lord, that we family down. We leave them all before you. More than anything, Lord, we pray for their salvation. You die for every drug addict. And it was your love for them that caused you to die on the cross of shame. That they might be lifted up and seated with Christ in heavenly places. Lord, we pray, save them, Lord. Save them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We go for our intercessory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. This morning we are interceding for marriages, homes. But this morning I want us to just concentrate on husband. We are going to pray for husband. All the husbands. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Glory. Let us, I'm going to be reading some Bible passages and uh, we'll pray from there that the Lord will help the men of the home, all Christian homes, the men of the that indeed they will take the rightful place. They will take the rightful place in the mighty name of Jesus. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 11 say, But you, man of God, flee from all this and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. Let us pray this morning that all the men of the house, the husbands, I think I would rather use the word husband, that the husband in homes are. In the name of Jesus, eh? oh, Father, Lord, that's your word. Eh? We come alive in their life. That the husbands, oh, Lord God, 
they will be husband of integrity, that the husbands of the home will pursue righteousness. Eh? In the name of Jesus, according to your word in 1 Timothy 6, 11, that this, or the husband of the home will be men of wisdom and also the truth of your word. Eh? In the name of Jesus, eh? that they will run after your word, Father Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, eh? so that the home can be peaceful. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh, Father Lord, eh, you stood us in your word, Philippians 4, 19. Oh, and my God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Lord, we are praying for wisdom. Wisdom for the husband in the home. Eh, in the mighty name of Jesus, eh, oh, wisdom in all aspects, in finances. Eh, oh, we all know in the home, eh, oh, finance. Eh, is, I think it takes like 70% of the chaos in the homes. So this morning, let us pray for wisdom for the husband of the house. In the mighty name of Jesus. In handling of finances. In the name of Jesus. That the, 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 the husband, we look for, we look for guidance regarding the finance of the home eh? in the mighty name of jesus that the husband will be the one that work diligently with his hand eh? in the mighty name of jesus eh? oh that he will work diligently in the mighty name of jesus eh? oh father lord eh? oh father does money lord we are praying for husbands husbands in the home eh? in the name of jesus oh lord God. lord we are asking for direction lord we are asking for guidance for the husband in the home oh lord God. in all christian homes oh lord God. help them oh lord God. help the husbands oh lord God. oh father lord that these ones will work diligently with their hands eh? in the name of jesus that these ones will be the ones that give oh lord God. in the name name of Jesus, oh Lord God. Oh, Father Lord, we thank you this morning. Oh, we thank you for the husbands of the home this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, eh? oh, Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your holy name this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray for the protection of their mind. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13 says, No temptation has overtaken you. I've said what is common to mankind, and God is faithful. Oh, our God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. Let us pray for husband that they will stand stronger against temptation, that the Lord will protect the minds of the husbands in the mighty name of Jesus. Their mind will be protected from the influences, O Lord God, of this world. Oh, we all know so many things are happening in our world, but the word of God told us that we are in this world, but not of the world. So, Father Lord, this morning, as we lift husbands in the homes eh, before you this morning, Lord, we are asking for protection of their mind eh, that they will not be influenced, O oh Lord God, by things that is happening in this world. Eh. They will not be influenced, O oh Lord God, by friends, O oh Lord God, but they will be influenced by your word, O oh Lord God. Eh. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh. Let us pray that Lord will help them to stand strong against temptation in the mighty name of Jesus, O Lord God. Oh, because the word of God told us that we will not be tempted beyond what we can bear. Oh, so Father, as we lift the husbands of the home before you this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus, eh? oh Lord, that you will help the husband to remember your word, O Lord God, this morning, that you are with them eh? and you will strengthen them, O Lord God, you will strengthen them so they can receive temptation. In the mighty name of Jesus, O Lord God. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. Psalm 1 verse 2 says it. But those delight is in the law of the Lord. But, who, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord? And who mediate on his law day and night? What is the law of God? It's, it's for that. Oh, Father, Lord, this morning. In the name of Jesus. Praying 
for the mind of the husband uh, of the home uh, this morning, that the Lord will guide their heart and mind uh, in the name of Jesus, that the Holy Spirit, O oh Lord God, will help them uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, oh, by the, by the power of the Holy Spirit, their mind will be filled with the strength and peace that comes from the Lord uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray that the Lord will help them, O Lord God. Help the mind of the husband to be at rest, eh? in the name of Jesus, eh? that daily, every minute, every second, eh? they will meditate on the word of God. Eh? He says day and night, eh? according to that Bible passage we just read, whose delight is in the law of the Lord, eh? and who meditates on his law day and night. Eh? Oh, that the husbands of the home eh, will be the one that meditates on the word of the Lord eh? day and night, every second, eh? in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord God. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray for the husband this morning. You know, they have their own fears too. They have fears. Oh, with this, how with this go? How will that go? You know, they have things they have fear about that. But we are going to pray for them this morning. You know, the word of God, you know, in Joshua chapter 1, verse 9, he said, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. This is the word of God. His words are yea and amen. Let us pray this morning for all husbands in Christian home. In the mighty name of Jesus, O Lord God. Every of their fears, every of their anxieties, this morning, every fear that plagues the mind, uh, that plagues their heart, uh, that they will remember the word of God uh, as he has commanded, uh, that they will be strong and courageous. They will not be afraid uh, because the Lord has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love. Uh. Oh, this morning, pray this morning that the perfect love of God, eh? we cast out all the fears, all the fears they might have, eh? fear about the home, fear about finances, eh? fear about their job, eh? fear about their businesses, eh? fear of what is going on around them within them, fears of what friends are telling them, oh, friends of what to do, what not to do. Oh, Father, Lord, this morning, we leave the husbands of the home before you this morning. Lord, eh? in the name of Jesus, eh? That your perfect love, eh, we cast out fear from them eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh, that when they need to make decisions, eh, they will make the right decision. Oh, that will benefit the home. Eh, that will benefit the family in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, will bless your holy name this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Let us pray, you know, for the purpose. Purpose in the lives of the husband, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray for them this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus, that first and foremost, they will find purpose, they will find their identity in God, in the name of Jesus, that they will surrender to God, they will surrender their life to God, in the mighty name of Jesus. 2 Thessalonians 1 11 say with this in mind we constantly pray for you that our God we may make you worthy of his calling and that by his power he may bring to fruition your every desire for goodness and your every deed prompted by faith prompted by faith oh father this morning Oh, we pray for all the husbands in our Christian homes this morning. Lord, that first and foremost, they will find their identity in you. They will find their purpose in you. Help them to realize, oh Lord God, the gift that they are to the home, the gift that they are to the body of Christ. Help them to grow. Help them with to grow in passion, in purpose, in you, O oh Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray that they will remember, they will know that the, their purpose is found in God, not in anything, not in the work of their hands, eh? not in friends, eh? oh, not in every ill advices, O oh Lord God, but their purpose is found in Christ Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, we pray 
that the husbands in the home will grow, O oh Lord God, to be the man of God that you have called them to be. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we bless your holy name this morning. Let us pray. You know, they will make choices. They will make choices. Because when they are faced with situations, they have to choose. Let us pray this morning that in their choosing, oh, Lord God, they will seek the face of the Lord for direction. In the mighty name of Jesus, as they make decisions, oh, Lord God, for their homes, eh, for their businesses, eh, for their children, eh, that they will look unto God eh, for direction. In the mighty name of Jesus, that the Lord will heal them, that they will release themselves to the leading of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus so that they can make decisions that will honor God, that, that uh, the family will be, will, will, the Lord will glorify in the household uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. The book of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 5 says, let the wise listen and add to the learning and let the discerning get guidance. Let us pray that they will get guidance from the Lord eh? in the name of Jesus, that they will be the yielding husband, the yielding husband that yield to the will, to the purpose of God, eh? that yield to the way of God eh? in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, we worship you this morning in the name of Jesus. As we pray for Christian homes this morning, but we are concentrating on the men of the homes, eh? the husbands, oh Lord God. Oh, Father, we are thanking you this morning in the name of Jesus, eh? that you will place them in their rightful places in the name of Jesus. That the husbands will be the one that submits to your will, to your way. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, we bless your holy name this morning. That these ones will be the ones, oh Lord God, that has your fear, oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus. These ones will be the ones that seek your face in all that they do in the name of Jesus. That this one will find their purpose in you, Father Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you for your peace, oh Lord God. For your tranquility, O oh Lord God, in marriages and Christian homes, eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless your holy name this morning. We will give you all the praise in the name of Jesus. Thank you because you have heard us. We worship you. We adore you, Father, in the name of Jesus. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen, 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 in Jesus' name.